What's wrong with y'all? Oh. You okay? Oh. Man, the, the lens is fogging up. Here, hold this. Yeah, my six in this is too hot. You're what? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Bama Picking and Grinning. I'm John and welcome to our channel. If this is your first time with us, hey, how you doing? And if you're a return subscriber, hey, what's up? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you go and watch some more of our videos. If you're not a subscriber, would you go ahead and do that for us? Hit that subscribe button. Come on, hit a like button. And I think there may be a bell or something that can tell you or give you a notification when we put out a new video. This video today is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a video of our family heading out on vacation, but the part I want to show you is what I'm going to be calling the thriftcation. So there are a few mornings during our vacation that we woke up and decided let's hit a few thrift stores. So we did. We went out, had a good time as a family, hitting the thrift stores, looking for different items that either we could add to our collection or you're always looking for something to flip. What we like to do is, is look for items that are either vintage or have some profit in them that we can flip, get some money so we can buy stuff for our collections. Collecting things can be kind of expensive. So what we have found out is a way to finance that without going into our budget for the household needs. I'm teaching my sons how to go out and do this, and I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Maybe you can learn a few things. Hey, maybe you can teach me a few things. But listen, enjoy yourself. Join us on this vacation, or as I'm going to call it, the thriftcation, because we're going to go into some thrift stores. And then while we're heading back home, I happen to find a flea market or two. Check it out. I'll be in here every once in a while giving some commentary and keeping you up to date of what's going on. Here we go. We gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. Always look for a Goodwill. So we're on our way to Florida. Oh, I don't know about Why not? Hey, what you gotta do? <laughs> what up? Stop. Rest stop number two. Where are we stopping to go to the bathroom? Goodwill. See how it's fogging up? It's even cold in that car. that get in there sorry boys um i tell you what let's go into some footage of our first thrift store we're gonna go in here see if i can find anything see if the boys can find anything or amanda that we can pick up here in this third first thrift store check it out Like a, I don't know, Grateful Dead does a lot, but you can see single stitch, old tag. Mm -hmm. So, four dollars. I mean, you can get, I don't know, 20, 30, maybe up. That's a really sought after tag right there. Especially if you had a graphic, it'd be more. But still, four dollars. Day one, we found a thrift store there. It was actually a pretty nice little thrift store. Didn't find a lot of stuff. Got that vintage tie-dye t-shirt and the Paddington the Bear lamp. I went ahead and picked that up for $10. A couple great little finds. We didn't do much more that day. Went and did some sightseeing. I might pop some of that in here for you too. Really neat area down in St. Augustine. But we're gonna head back to the apartment. We're gonna actually spend the day doing a couple other things. I didn't video that. 
But here we go. We're going to wake up day number two of thrifting, enjoying what I love in the morning, a fresh cup of coffee and a fresh bowl of cereal. We're going to head out to the thrift store. We didn't find a lot in these either, but we had a whole lot of fun. In fact, I think the boys had too much fun. I almost had to break up a couple fights in this thing. As you know, Eli is a mess. And Ari, he can be a character every once in a while too. So enjoy yourself. Here we go. Here's another thrift store. I play lacrosse. Dun 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 dun. Yours is far more superior than mine. Yours helps with poop, but mine does balls. You don't know. You don't want to know where this has been. Thought I was lying, huh? The boys had too much fun. In fact, I had to break them up back there in the corner. I cut that short because uh, they were getting a little bit rambunctious there and I didn't want to get in trouble. So we got them separated, went around the store a little bit more. Again, we didn't find much of anything, but we had a great time just hanging out and spending time as a family. It's about time to wrap up our trip and time to head back home. So while we're heading back home, we just, I asked Amanda, let's open up and let's see, yep, let's see if there's anything interesting coming up on our drive home. In fact, we found something. In Jacksonville, Florida, there is a huge flea market. It is actually really nice. And uh, we went and walked around there, found a couple of things. So, let's take a look. We are traveling back home. We're in Jacksonville, Florida. We saw that we have a flea market. So it's right off the interstate, so we're going to stop and see if there's anything in here.
Alright, so let's see what we got. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, we are back from a week-long stay down in Palm Coast, Florida. We uh, had a great time down there. We actually went and got some spiritual charging. We went to a retreat, a ministry retreat, had a great time. Uh, but while we were there, we did some thrifting and some shopping. And we just want to kind of go over with you what we picked up. Some stuff to sell, some stuff is ours. So on our channel, we not only show things that we buy to, to flip, but we also kind of show you what we buy for our collections and why we do this. We don't do this for a living. We do this so we can have uh, our collections growing and our hobbies without coming out of our budget. So here we go. We're going to go over a few things. And so, boys, you guys ready? Um, um. <laughs> so where will we begin? I'll tell you what. Let's start right before we left. I picked up a couple things. I just wanted to show that real quick. Pick this up right here. This is from 1967. This is a uh, Susie Homemaker dishwasher. And it is a dishwasher and it is a sink combo. And it is functional. It hooks up to water and everything. It has batteries. This is a really neat piece. I've only found one of these on eBay. So, and it's going for around 150. So this one. Boy, you're so smart. I just don't know what to do with you. So this one, um, I don't know what we're going to sell it for, but I picked it up for 20 I think it was a good $1. deal. One dollar. One dollar, no holler? No. Okay. Um, what else did I do? Da, da, da. I baked that, and then I picked up a couple um, cups. They are NASCAR with the metal Rusty Wallace cups before I left. Now, let's kind of go over what we picked up while we were gone. We didn't pick up a lot, did we guys? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, we did. We picked up a lot of stuff. Ari, you were already excited about some of the things you got. Let's go over the stuff we got for our for keeps, I guess. So what did you get for keeps, Mr. Ari? What is it, man? The money in the bank briefcase. The money in the bank briefcase? It should hold a contract to Bobby Lett. It doesn't have the contract in it, but Rot. I, I've never seen one of these in the wild. Do you? No, never. So we picked that up. We went to stop by a flea market uh, on the way back from Florida. Saw that. Ori was excited. Picked it up to help him out and get that. Uh, so pretty neat there. What else did you get, bro? Got almost looking brand new. Oh, yeah. That's doesn't cool. look like it's got... This is actually better than the conditions of the other two I have in my room. This is the best condition one I have. WCW Signature Goldberg. Series Goldberg. All right. KB Toys exclusive. Real neat piece. So I think you picked that one up for 15. Mm -hmm. I you got that for 40. Got that for 40. They were asking 20. I got it down to 15. Got it down to 15. They were asking. I was looking for this and they went up to 50 on some places. Yeah, that's a good this. piece. You got a good deal on it. And then that briefcase can go upwards over a hundred dollars, oh. depending on condition, keys, and other things. So, still, I think it was a good deal. We got it for forty. And, and then what else? Got, eh, we got this, Call of Duty Black Ops badge, display case. Oh, that's pretty neat. What'd yeah. you get for that? I got it for five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. He was Not asking six for it. Didn't have any change, so he gave it to me for five. Okay. And then we got you. We just got these from Walmart. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, they're cheaper. But anyway, just for his collection there. But these two pieces I thought were neat. Talked about these right here. I have never seen those in the wild. Apparently they are Undertaker and Rey Mysterio's WrestleMania gear. I've never seen these before. Huh, I've, I've never seen them either. I've seen this. This, his WrestleMania gear, I've seen. His, I haven't. This is one he came down from the rafters. And I, actually, I think this one he came... Into WrestleMania in a triple threat match against Kurt Angle and Randy Orton, I want to say. Huh. I'm not sure about this one. I just have never seen those toys. I think they're 2014. Mm-hmm. That 2014. Uh, they were asking $10 for each, and then they just gave them to us for $2 for 
for 15. I mean, two for 15. <laughs> yeah, two for 15. So that's that's a pretty good deal because I think they're selling for around 15 a piece. So I think you did good there. So that's what you picked up, Greg. Oh, you got... And got a few movies. Got a few movies. Um, these well, are but I got just... Well, let's start with this one. This one's a viral movie for those horror fans out there. Okay, what else? And then we got for those people that just want something that will ruin their day. So you get something so dark and then something so stupid. Exactly. It's my <laughs> life. <laughs> okay. But and these I, are the ones that I, I was... Picked, I love these. these. This is what you got for yourself, though. This is what I got for myself. This is the first things I think I got for myself. Of the, the, you already had number one. Land before time one. one. And now two, three, and four. I think I have these at our grandparents, but I'm sure they're not in this great condition. So you got those on VHS for yourself, right? Yes. Hey. Hey, good job, Eli. You're welcome. All right. So is that all you got? Um, other than Resident Evil 2, yeah. Yeah, you got a game, right? Yep. Okay, so that's what you got. Eli, you want to talk about what you got for your personal collection? Okay, so I got two movies. I got Evolution. Wah, wah. And I got a water boy. Oh, I'm going to say full spots off the table. Evolution, we're going to go down. You can do it! <laughs> All right, what else you get, bro? Um, I got some pew pews. Some pew pews? Yeah. So. I got some airsoft guns. Don't so airsoft? point that at me. <laughs> some airsoft. Right, so you notice they are airsoft. These are not real guns. They're airsoft guns. Anyway, Picks censor. Them up. You can You can censor. I got this one for free. And this one was $8. Uh-huh. This one was five dollars. Okay. This one was five dollars. This is the best airsoft gun I've ever owned. Okay. It shoots straight and powered. All right. Already seen it. Airsoft. So what else did you get, bro? Um, um, Eli got some Super Sam Blue figures. I got uh, Goku and Vegeta. So go to your collection in your Vegeta. room. All right. Nice. Anything else? Oh, what else did I get? Oh, yeah, I got these dragons. Oh, yeah, they're the small dragons, the How to Train Your Dragon. The ancient figures. Then you got some Minecraft figures, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I got some Minecraft figures. Okay. There's a snowball in there. And so, I also found... That's not for your... That's for selling, right? Or are you keeping that? Keeping it? Why would I sell it? What? It's Beetlejuice, man. I have never seen that in the wild, either. That's a cool piece. Beetlejuice? That's the uh, that's the that's the sandworm. Sandworm, right? And it works. Real neat. Show it off right here. He found that at a Goodwill. Yep. It's an okay. Egg. And what'd you pick up, Dad? So I got. I found this. This is a Dick Tracy figure. <gasps> you don't see those often. If you saw on our Instagram, um, they bought me uh, some Dick Tracy cars for Father's Day in the box. Really neat, so this is gonna go with that collection there. And well, that's all I got, I think. <laughs> what? That's all you got? That's it? Oh, there is one more thing I got. Here, you wanna hold that? Oh, sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that red thing. Help us. We don't know what we're doing here. So this is what I got paid for by thrifting. What is that? This is the X. A mini fridge? A mini you fridge. Got me a fridge. Thank you. I've been mean to get a mini so fridge. So we finally got an Xbox uh, Series X <coughs> and AKA mini fridge. We've been wanting one of these. It's taken a long time. Um, every time we tried to get it, they were sold out. But we finally, uh, while we were on vacation, got it. And like I said, this, this is why we do um, reselling and things so that we can buy stuff like this. I mean, this is not a cheap toy. And so that's why we got it. And so Eli is being really nasty behind the camera right now. Just... What? I, I thank you for my early Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, okay. The money is making stuff you can do. I'll take stuff. All right, so let's talk about some stuff that we are going to sell that I picked up, not going to keep. You're not keeping all of it? Not keeping all. Oh, I got one more thing. I did get something else. I've got this Doc figure to go for my collection. Yankee. So I got that. Okay. 
So stuff to sell, stuff to sell. What stuff are we selling? Stuff we're selling. Here, this good night Paddington nursery lamp. What's Paddington? Uh, Paddington Bear. He's, oh, see he's on there. Right there's Paddington Bear. This is a vintage um, kids nursery lamp in, in the box. Guy picked it up for $10. And so comps on that are, are going pretty good. Um, I can't believe we actually got it for 10 bucks in the box like that. Real good condition. So I believe we could get 50 or $60 at least for that. Say it is so. It, it, I'm not saying that. It's so. Then um, some plush we got. We got so what's his name? Donald Rover. Trump. What? It's not Grover. Grover. Who is this? My um, blue guy. It's Grover. <laughs> Grover's. That's not Grover. What's his name? Wait, is it Grover the trash can? No, that's Oscar. Oh, so this yes. is Grover. Are you sure? They look. Yes. They look like family. Shut up. Two thousand and four Grover. Look, See, they're all both public looking same. And so two ninety nine. And you look at sales for him, he's going over $30. You might be the 99. So, I haven't looked up comps on him. This, we got for free. The guy gave it to us for free. Yeah. yeah he gave and it. so this is a 1993 mm -hmm. Hanna-Barbera Flintstone, Fred Flintstone. It's the Flintstone. Not sure what it goes for, but for free, it's all profit. Yay. Oh, my. Then we got this uh, cute Tigger. I thought he was really neat. Not sure what he's going to be selling for. But, oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> keep your hands to yourself, all right? Well, see, what had happened was, is I lost some of the footage, okay? I apologize. I'm sorry it cut off like that. I made a mistake. It deleted off of the camera by accident, and I apologize. There wasn't going to be much more I was going to show you. We only had a couple more items that we were going to actually flip for some profit. But that really wasn't the whole point of our trip and the time that we had spending together. It was an opportunity to actually relax, find some items for our collection, have a good time. And if we found some stuff to flip, so be it. Again, that really wasn't the point of this one, this, this trip, this video. It's more about family time, spending time with your family. We can all get caught up in the hustle, guys. We can all get caught up trying to do this and get all the profit that we can. But don't forget why you do it. You do it so you can enjoy life, so you can have freedom, so you can spend time with your loved ones. Don't forget about them. I encourage you, take an opportunity. Maybe schedule something in for some of your loved ones. If they don't want to go thrifting, I tell you what, take them somewhere that they want to go, and it can be financed by thrifting. Use some of the things that you're doing, the knowledge you have, the fun that you have, and spread the love with others inside of your family and the loved ones that you have. As thanks you so much for joining us and spending some time with us on our vacation or our thriftcation. We really enjoyed having you. Again, I'm John, Bama Picking and Grinning. We'll see you next time. Y'all ready?